Well, have you ever traded for something you want instead of paying for it? Then you have already bartered. It is an age-old practice that is seeing an uptick in popularity thanks to an economy where many people are short of actual cash. Here with a tutorial on just how it works is Karen Kelly of ITEX, or International Trade Exchange, Dr. Joe Mejia, an ophthalmologist who barters his services, and John Hora of the Art of Barter in Elgin, which is a more locally focused exchange. And welcome all of you to Chicago tonight. Thank you. Um, Karen, give us an idiot's guide to bartering. Uh, what is bartering? Remind us. Basically, we're a network of business owners that trade what they have for what they want. And we maximize their sales capacity, so we'll bring our clients new business that they wouldn't have otherwise. And then rather than spending cash, we help them spend trade dollars on what they want and need. Give me an example of a business that, that uses your exchange and how that business benefits. Sure, okay. So for instance, I have a dentist that uses uh, trade dollars to pay for their uh, computers and their, their networking and any kind of problems that they have with that. So rather than every month have to pay a fee for that, they, they take on a couple extra patients. They get paid trade dollars for these patients, which are real money. It's legal currency. It just has to be spent in the network. And then they use their trade dollars for their computer needs and, and a lot of other things. So a dentist will give services to somebody who signs up for you, uh, with, with your exchange, mm -hmm. and then he or she gets dollars you know, in this system, mm -hmm. and that dentist can then go out and do whatever he or exactly. she wants. They with. don't have to take what the other person has. It's a business owner, and they get paid in this. It's more similar to a bank. It's a third-party record keeper where we issue lines of credit. We, we act as their sales agents, so we're bringing them business that so they business, wouldn't have. business bartering. Right. Business. Yeah. Jo John Hora, uh, you deal more with individuals. Uh, your your side is a little more individual friendly in turn it's not just it's not just business it's, well it is business it's just that maybe we're a little more friendly because we get to know our clients our our focus is strictly local in the chicagoland area and we've been trading for almost 18 years and on a first name basis with most of my clients but it's the same as karen well well explained it's a, a barter credit that stays within a system so that there's, it's negotiable among any of the participants in the, in the organization. Give me an example of uh, some of the bartering that goes on with your exchange. Okay, well, Dr. Joe is one of, our, one of our clients. He's an eye doctor. So if you've got the mechanic and his kid needs glasses, you send him over to Joe. Joe gets paid with barter dollars from the mechanic. Well, then Joe could take those barter dollars and go out to eat at a restaurant or have a contractor mow his lawn or fix his roof. So uh, because a mechanic is going to Dr. Mejia, it doesn't necessarily mean that the doctor needs to use the mechanic services. Hey, they don't mean, need, need me to do that. They can do that on their own. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the beauty of the, this uh, negotiable credit is that it makes a myriad of possibilities. Uh, Dr. Mejia, tell me more about how you use the service. Well, the service. nice thing about it is, is that eventually what happens is that when you do, in John's organization, is you do meet these people and you do become friends with them. So, for instance, right now, uh, there's a, Mr. Johnson is making chimney caps for my house, for my roof, for my chimneys, and that he says, oh, I need a pair of glasses, and so we're trading directly because he knows me and I know him, and if there's ever any, any wrong with my roof, I'll call Mr. Johnson because I already know him and I know that he's in the system. And if there's ever, and ever anything wrong with his glasses, or he'll th come th back then, to me. Uh, how do you set the respective values of what it is you're, you're bartering? Uh, I, in my case, I just do exactly what we would in, in U.S. dollars, the same prices, everything holds exactly true, for glasses, for the services, for the eye exam, everything holds true. And then John keeps track of how much they spend at, our, at my place. And then when I need to do something from a contractor, then he'll tell me, he'll give me an estimate and I'll say yes or no. And then just like regular dollars, they're exchanged in a one-on-one -on -one basis. But when you're doing it directly, for example, in the instance of the person who's making these caps oh, for your... but we're not doing it directly in the sense of we're not eliminating John. What we're doing is uh, he's, I'm charging him uh, with barter uh, out of barter dollars and he's charging me without a barter dollar so it's coming off of our accounts. In terms of what you've been seeing in the past year or so, give me an idea of what, your what the level of business has been. Well, we've increased about 45 percent. 45 percent. Um, yeah, ITEX is, is pretty uh, spread out. We're in 102 markets throughout um, North America. So we've really seen an increase through over the board. 500 accounts a, a month we're getting in on a, on a regular basis. And uh, I understand you, that you've particularly seen an uptick, uptick in healthcare. It's our number Tell one. It's yeah. It, we actually what is kind our, of healthcare? Um, anything from like like Dr. Joe does here, the optometrist, the um, 
uh, you know, chiropractor, uh, there's regular physicians, dentists, you know. Wait a um, minute, regular physicians, you mean like primary care physicians sure. as well? Is mm -hmm. that right? Sure. Yeah. Uh, has that been the experience for you too in terms of healthcare being healthcare a real... Healthcare is something that's commonly been traded and especially since, for instance, dental is, is seldom covered with uh, most insurance plans, people will prefer to use barter dollars to get their teeth fixed. We have a variety of, of, of doctors, uh, you know, uh, orthopedic surgeon, we've got, uh, you know, the, the chiropractors, and we've got many optometrists, and a lot of dentists, and uh, clinics, and dermatologists, etc. And it just makes more sense. I mean, these are expenses the, the that you can't really put off. You need health care. You know, the special, specialties you just talked about are specialties that some people might see as in a time of uh, tough economic times. They might think, you know what? I can put off going to the dentist. I can put off right. going to the skin doctor. You're saying that in this system, it, ena it's, it enables people so they, to use some of those. They put it off for years. Right. They join the art of barter. I give them business that then they can use to pay for the dentist that they've been delaying going to for all this time. Mm -hmm. uh, individuals, for example, uh, how is it? How can it be made user friendly for individuals? Like, if someone is what a mechanic or a photographer or a landscaper, I get asked that question a lot, and basically it's, well, what do you? What can you put into the system? Uh -huh. And so let's say somebody they may not be a formal business owner, but whatever they do on their job. They could provide at, on a freelance basis within the system. I had a, a, um, a guy one time years ago. He needed an attorney. He was in trouble. I don't know what the deal was, but he didn't own a business. He didn't, he didn't know what to trade. He had a classic car. He had a 68 Mustang. We traded the Mustang to a limousine company. The guy picked about eight grand for it, went and paid his attorney. Hmm. What does it cost? What are the fees? It's uh, free to join, and we charge a $20 a month cash and a $10 a month trade uh, association fee that covers all of the, the behind-the-scenes work we do, and then it's also a 6% cash, cash transaction fee when our members trade. There are tax consequences for this. How does that work? Because what you're getting in goods and services mm -hmm. is of value Absolutely. and is, and is uh, taxable mm -hmm. income, isn't right. it? Right. We keep everybody you know, compliant with the IRS. The IRS views a barter dollar to work on the books the same way a cash dollar does. There is a taxable consequence, whether it's sales tax or, or income tax. So we just send them a 1099B. But They've got people, all their statements. And and at the end but of the but you, you, you were dealing with a lot of businesses. If people want to barter, that's not necessarily ever declared, right? I mean, if, if individuals probably just... Never yeah, probably never declared. Probably never declared. Like if, you know, I will uh, mow your lawn if you will uh, walk my dog. I mean, that sort of thing is completely off when, the books. When it gets into a business this size, we're dealing with millions of dollars, right. and this, we have to do that in order to exist as an industry. And last question for uh, Dr. Mejia. Uh, is, it sounds like this is actually kind of, I mean, there's a fun aspect to it, would you say? There is a fun aspect because one of the things that, it, that happens is that it opens up your business to clientele that you would not normally have. There are people that travel f actually quite a ways to come in because the barter doctor, I'm, if I'm the doctor, they'll come from far away that they would not normally come to me. Is that what so, they call you, the barter doctor? Yes, yes. <laughs> so right. if the barter well, doctor is available, go over there. Well, our thanks to the barter doctor, Dr. Joe Mejia, to John Hora, and to Karen Kelly for being here. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Appreciate it. And you can visit our website, wttw.com slash Chicago tonight for more information about bartering as well as links to companies that can help you get started if you're interested in trying it yourself.